So much heartbreak throughout Virginia Beach and beyond. So many families having to bury loved ones too soon. Laquita Brown was just 39 years old. She worked for Public Works for a little more than four years, and her father sure did love her a lot. 10 on your sides, Tamara Scott has that story for us tonight. Tamara. Well, I'm here at the memorial right outside of the police station, and what a difference a day makes. This has grown immensely. Now here sits 12 crosses representing those 12 lives, and this one here is Laquita Brown's cross. I spoke with her father today who described her as a reincarnated mother, Teresa, someone who always wanted to do something for others, someone who didn't deserve this. This is my partner. Yeah. She just hated me to call her partner in these older years. Yeah, that's about everything. My hands were the first hands to ever touch her. Laquita Brown died Friday afternoon when a gunman shot and killed her and 11 others at her place of work. Friday was her father Dwight's birthday. I uh, went over to my best friend's house because of my birthday, his man cave, and we was watching the events folding on TV when my son called. He told me that my daughter was one of the people that had been shot. The worst words a father ever wants to hear. He said, Dad, uh, I got some bad news for you. Uh, your, uh, your Lakita, is, she's been shot. Early in the afternoon, he thought he would find her at a nearby hospital recovering. That wasn't the case. Got there. And she wasn't there. Uh, I won't go into a lot of details, but she was never there. She was never at any hospital. She never made it up to go. Two days later, he says there's only one thing holding him together. My heavenly father. Anger is the last thing on his mind. I'm pretty sure there's lots. Thousands of people have been through more than I've been going through right now. So I can't afford that luxury of being angry. I'm just sad. He says because his daughter, who was fluent in three languages and made a mission to help others in life, didn't deserve this. Who needs a multiple magazine for what? I mean, I, I feel everybody has the right to defend themselves, but you don't need multiple magazines to defend yourself. If anybody can rationalize that, it's not rational. He says they had a great relationship, a great father and daughter relationship. For now, he says he is trying to stay strong for his family, but expects in the next coming days to be the hardest. He just asks for any prayers. For now, in Virginia Beach, Tamara Scott, 10 on your side. They certainly